What's up? My name is Matt, and today we're going to be talking about The Sims. Not The Sims 2, 3, or even the new Sims 4, but the original Sims. It's one of my favorite games of all time, and it's one of the reasons why I play games today. So let's take a look at what started it all. The Sims was released on February 4th of the year 2000. Will Wright was already well known for his simulation games, most notably Sim City. The Sims have gone on to become one of the best-selling PC games of all time. With seven expansion packs, many sequels, and even more spin-offs, The Sims is still a juggernaut of a gaming franchise. The Sims have always been a huge part of my life. From the first time I found the expansion pack, living large at a garage sale, and not understanding that you have to have a base game to be able to play it, well, my mom took me down to Walmart and we picked it up, and then started a lifelong obsession with a game that's both addicting, and a game I think you could even learn a little from. With the introduction of a new game comes the introduction of a few new concepts. And while most of the gameplay modes have been seen before, The Sims put everything together in one cohesive package. Buying, building, living, it all becomes part of a main game. And while there's no actual end goal to the game, it's all about how do you want to play it? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? If all you wanted to do was build the biggest house possible, go right ahead. If all you wanted to do was become the top of whatever career or profession you chose, go ahead. If all you want to do is sit around lazily on the couch watching TV, playing guitar, or painting pictures, once again, go ahead. Now unless you were planning on using a few very useful cheat codes, money was always going to run out. You are always going to need to use the bathroom, and you are always going to need to cook yourself a meal, along with going to sleep and making sure you are comfortable. It felt like a chore, but that was part of the fun. You had to manage, you had to make sure that everything stayed green. You had to make sure that everything stayed good, because if something went down into red, then you might as well just give up and start again. It started this domino effect, because if one thing went bad, then everything else would start going bad as well. Upon starting The Sims, one of the very first things you're going to need to do is choose if you're going to play somebody else's sim that was pre-built in the game, or if you're going to go ahead and create your very own sim. After creating a sim, it's important to realize how you want him to look, what traits you want him to have. You can even write yourself a little bio. It's time to move into your very first place. Do you take a pre-made home, have a little bit less money, or do you decide to take over the range yourself and build your very own place? The wonderful thing about The Sims is you can do whatever it is you want to do. You can build however you want to build. There is also a whole host of different activities, hobbies, and interactions to explore. It's always important to make sure that you have a bathroom nearby. Be careful what you do though, because if you're having too much fun, well, Sometimes it can end a little bit worse than you hope it would. <laughs> 